April from April's Home and today I thought I would come here and share with you some of my October homemaking goals. Before I get started with my homemaking goals, I'll share with you one of my new fun October mugs here. I found this at the grocery store. It's got a cute little spider and spider web on it and I've brewed up a nice cup of tea here. This is my Twinings Irish breakfast tea that you'll always see in um, my grocery hauls. I've also decided to try one of the gluten-free pumpkin muffins here that I also picked up in my Trader Joe's grocery haul that you'll um, have seen if you've seen my October grocery haul from Trader Joe's. So I've got a nice little snack here today, nice little tea time, and I thought that I would go ahead and share with you some of my October homemaking goals. I thought that this would be a fun thing to talk about each month, some of my different homemaking goals for that particular month. I love to think of things seasonally and I do different things in, in all the different months of every year and I love fall homemaking. So I thought that I would share with you what I've got going on, my goals for October. So here are my October homemaking goals for 2023. I've decided to write this out just in my little notebook here. This is just a little spiral notebook that I picked up at the Dollar Tree earlier in the year written on it, household planning. And uh, then I listed out some of the things that I'd really like to tackle in the month of October. The first one is getting my house decorated for the fall and Halloween, which I've already done. And I hope to share with you some clips of that in a future video. Also another task that I've completed were to get up the Halloween lights and decorate my front porch. My husband and I completed that about a week ago when the weather was really nice. It's back to a really nice, beautiful day here too. We kind of go back and forth this time of year between fall weather where it's foggy and rainy and blustery and then today we're back to 80 some degrees outside nice and sunny and hot it feels almost like summer out there so uh, really back and forth weather this time of year but we got our lights up for the front porch and got that decorated then of course something that I do every month is I write my monthly meal plan which I've shared in my October monthly Trader Joe's grocery haul and meal plan video which has been posted already um, so you can check that out. So I've written up a nice monthly meal plan for that. And then the next one I haven't done yet and that uh, is in regards to all of these bookcases you see behind me. I need to empty them all and there's another set behind the camera of, of bookcases as well. This is the dining room and I need to empty all those books out, get the shelves dusted, the books dusted, put back in a nice orderly manner. Got a lot of tchotchkes. Sometimes when the grandkids have something that we need to put up, we all just put them up on one of the taller shelves. So they tend to get, you know, full of different random objects. I, I've put books in here sideways when I don't have time to shelve them properly. So it's gotten to be a bit of a mess. It hasn't been quite a year since I've done this. Um, but they're definitely in need of some good dusting and reorganizing. So that is uh, one of my goals for October because I'd like this room, my dining room, to be nice and organized and beautiful by November because of course we'll be hosting different holiday meals here starting at the end of October. So I like this to be nice and clean for the upcoming holidays. And then next I would also right back here in this dining room i have a craft station right over here and it has also gotten a bit messy i've set things off to the side of it that i haven't um stopped to organize into the proper cupboard so i need to get that all organized in this uh, month here of october so it'll be all done before halloween and of course ready to kick off the holidays. So we'll get that done as well. And then also uh, my next task for October is in regards also to the holidays, I would like to gather and organize all of my recipes for the holidays. They have been in a tote, sort of in a little bit of a disorganized state for quite some time. A lot of the times I'll just look my recipes up online. I used to write a blog, so I've blogged a lot of my recipes and I'll just look them up on my blog. I have like a an index of recipes for the recipes that I've posted rather than just looking in uh, my old recipe cards or my old recipe book. So I'd like to get those organized and gathered up. Um, that way I'm not always fumbling around for recipes and I'll be ready to go again for the holidays. And then there are a lot of holiday themed uh, tasks for my homemaking this month. 
Um, the other one is to write my Christmas gift list, get that all orderly, decide what I want to get, and then get started shopping for gifts. I would love to be mostly done by the end of this month with all of my holiday shopping so that I can just relax and enjoy wrapping them and uh, celebrating the hol holidays and maybe just going out um, for a few fun little outings during the holiday season um, when the stores get really busy. I don't really love that. So that's one of my goals for October, get started with those gifts, hopefully even get finished with those gifts. I'm trying to keep things nice and simple this year. Um, but I love giving gifts, so I definitely want to get started on that right away. Another thing I would like to do this month is to bake some pumpkin bread. It is nice having baked goods from, you know, the store and things like that, but I love doing my own baking. So I would like to bake up a bunch of pumpkin bread, both for the family and the freezer. And also I would like to experiment with gluten-free pumpkin bread recipes because I'm currently eating um, gluten-free and also extremely low carb. So I don't use artificial sweeteners though. I just limit my sweets to one day, maybe two days a week. Um, I have a small tree like this little muffin here and my tea time, that's about it for the whole week. Um, so yes, I would like to get that done and again, experiment with some of those new gluten-free recipes that I've really been enjoying trying out. So that's some of that. Get another sip of tea there. And then next, I need to double check my Halloween candy supply. If you watched my big um, fall pantry stock up, you saw that I got started with a lot of Halloween candy. This whole table was just full of candy. And that was just about enough to fill up. I have a big bin. It's about this big and this deep because we have a ton of trick-or-treaters. It's pretty much a steady stream of trick-or-treaters on Halloween, which I love. I absolutely love seeing all the children in their costumes and the grown-ups with them and even the teenagers that come around. We just love to have a good time on Halloween evening and pass out treats to all of our neighbors. And our whole neighborhood is like that. Everyone really gets into it. It's a fun, safe neighborhood to come trick-or-treating in. And so we get, again, a lot of trick-or-treaters and I like to be really prepared. So I'll get out my big bin and start filling that up. I did make another trip to a local store here in town where I also get my Halloween candy every year and got a few of the things that I know that they um, sell there to add to my stash. So I think I've got it just about covered. We'll see if I calculated correctly when I get out my big bin and fill it up. And I hope to do that by the end of this week, really, because I don't like to wait on that. I like to make sure that I'm really stocked up before Halloween. And also my husband and I are very good about not getting into the candy. Again, I eat super low carb and low sugar. I am going to allow myself a couple times of eating a little bit of the classic candy, but not a lot, probably just on Halloween and maybe a day or two before, you know, some of my favorites, uh, just a couple though. And luckily they're in the little sizes. So that's actually very good. Um, but yeah, we don't even open up the candy until I put it in the bin. We kind of keep that hidden away in our bedroom. So our grandchildren don't spot it. Um, because of course they would like to try that as well. And we also like to make sure they're not eating too much sugar. So they'll have their fun treats on Halloween for sure, but we'll keep that hidden and that way no one in the family will start getting into the Halloween candy too early. Um, so we'll get that double checked probably again this week. One thing I did cross off my list and I'm so excited that I finally did this. This next task has been on my October list for the last few Octobers, but I've just been too busy to, to get it done. And that was to make boo baskets. So this year I actually accomplished that. Me and my husband went out on one of our um, shopping outings and made sure to gather up everything to make boo baskets for our children, uh, our adult children and their families. So we got those all put together and I'll go ahead and share what those turned out like in one of my upcoming um, Halloween videos. Perhaps when I share our Halloween decor, I'll share with you how those turned out. They were really cute. Um, we put some fun goodies, Halloween goodies in those and um, actually got the boo baskets made this year, which was really super fun. We gave them to them on Sunday, October 1st at family dinner night. So that was really super fun. I did want to go around and do the leave it on their doorstep and surprise them thing, but 
Sunday, the October 1st, landed on a day when everybody was going to be here. So we just decided to do it here um, at our house. So that one is crossed off the list. The next thing in my homemaking goals for this month is to plan some fall outings. As a homemaker, that is something that I do, and I know that my daughter and daughter-in-law do. We all kind of work together to plan our fall outings, both as a family and then things that we do just in our own homes. Um, we're definitely all going to go to the pumpkin patch like we do every single year. It's so fun. The grandkids love it. We all love it. And um, so we'll definitely be doing that as a family. We, we're getting that all planned out. We've already started talking about the days that we'll be doing that. And then I'd like to plan some fall outings for me and my husband. We love to go see the fall foliage in different nature spaces around here. So I want to plan at least one or two nature walks down by the river, perhaps, where we can see the beautiful fall um, foliage changing down by the river. It's so beautiful. So I'll plan out um, something like that as well and pack a little picnic or something like that for us. Uh, to do this fall. So that's again something I love to do as a homemaker to plan activities surrounding the different seasons and different holidays and things like that. And speaking of family fun, another item that I'm going to be planning this month is a game night for October probably just for my husband and I. We have a lot of games that we love to play. Now, if I can pull off a family game night with the family, I know they would love that as well. So perhaps we'll try to do that as well. But I know that I want to plan a game night for me and my husband. Again, we have a lot of really fun two-player strategic games that we love to play. We've been playing games, these two-player games together since we were first um, engaged, actually. We love playing these strategic games like Mancala, Quartz, and things like that. One day I also have to share with you some of the games that we have collected and that we enjoy playing together. And when we have our game night, I'll make up a nice tray of appetizers and maybe a little healthy dessert for us. So we'll do that this October. And then let's see. Oh, here's one that I would love to make progress on. And that is our office organization and our files. That is a room that is not very organized here right now. Paper clutter is something that I've always, has always been a challenge to me. So we're working on that, getting everything filed and organized and a kind of decluttering some of the files. And I probably won't finish this month because again, I'm mostly focusing on my dining room this month, but I would still like to make progress on the office uh, space there and our files, we'll work on that too. And then another thing with the weather shifting, one of my homemaking goals is to double check the fireplace. We have a gas fireplace and I like to make sure that it's up and running and clean and nice. And if it is sputtering or doing anything like that, getting that serviced if we need to. So definitely need to do that because I love using my gas fireplace on cold mornings. Um, and I love to read by the fire um, this time of year, but it's definitely time to make sure that's up and running for the fall and winter. Next out to the garden, I have a lot of cleanup to do from the uh, end of the summer vegetable garden. We've got a lot of stuff still growing because again, the weather's still really pretty warm. We haven't had any really super cold days yet. Um, so I'd like to get all the vegetable beds cleaned out from the summer and I just bought a few more starts of kale and some really nice red leaf lettuce to get planted as well that we'll continue to enjoy throughout the fall and um, we'll see how long that, that lasts into the winter. The kale around here tends to continue growing even through our winters here. Um, it'll kind of wilt a little bit when it's super cold or icy but it perks right back up as soon as the weather warms back up. So I always like to have kale out in my garden for both us and our chickens. Our chickens love kale and every time I'm taking a walk in the yard, I go grab a couple of the leaves um, out there for the chickens and they just absolutely love that. It keeps them healthy and um, we also again enjoy kale as well. So we'll get that planted and the veggie beds all tidied up for, uh, to kind of put the majority of the vegetable garden to bed for um, the fall and winter. And of course, I will, again, keep a few of those up and running with our kale and lettuce. 
And then um, also we'll have to kind of go around and tidy up the yard, put away some of the summer toys that are out there from the grandkids, although they have still been loving playing out there every time. Again, the weather's been so um, nice outside that we're still kind of playing a lot. They have a bunch of little construction vehicles out there and they love to play in the gravel. So we'll leave those out as long as uh, the weather permits and then we'll get that tidied up as well. Um, then also outside one more chore out there is to freshen the chicken coop um, after they're finished molting. They're molting right now, so there's feathers. Um, they kind of lose their feathers and then get a nice fresh set of feathers for the winter. And so there's feathers a bit kind of around in their coop. And I would like to get that all cleaned up, clean them out of their coop, get some nice fresh pine shavings in there. I also love buying them special scratch treats and um, things like that. And I also give them a pumpkin to nibble on this time of year. They love it. And so um, we'll definitely be sure and bring them that for a special fall treat. So those are the main goals that I have for the month of October. It's a pretty decent size list. I pretty much filled up my whole page. Of course, this doesn't take into account my regular everyday chores, you know, just housekeeping uh, chores, the dishes, the laundry, uh, the cooking, all of that, just the regular picking up and dusting and vacuuming and all that that we normally do. These are just more of my goals, my specialty goals for homemaking that I would like to tackle in October. So I hope you enjoyed hearing those goals and I hope it inspired some of your October homemaking goals. And I would love to hear in the comments below any special tasks for homemaking that you like to do in the month of October and um, hear your ideas as well. Perhaps I will add another couple of items to my list. So now I'm going to go ahead and try a bite of this delicious smelling a pumpkin muffin, gluten-free pumpkin muffin from Trader Joe's and I'll let you know what I think. Well, that was absolutely delicious. They are very moist and extremely flavorful. They've got a nice crumble topping. Wow, definitely a good treat. I will probably enjoy about half of this um, now with my cup of tea. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and get started checking off some of the items on my list. I hope everyone is having a wonderful October so far. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.